Hey guys, my name is Riven Phoenix from AlienThink.com and in this video I'm going to be demonstrating to you how to use the Pose Tool 3D app which allows you to create any pose that you want for your illustrations. Now before I get into this I just want to point out that we can have multiple figures to pose in this app. We can also select a figure and at any time switch between male and a female. Now for this demo I'm only going to be using one figure. So I'm going to go ahead and turn these figures off. So what I'm going to do is simply create a very simple pose so you can get an idea of how this app works. So all we have to do is simply click on a body part and select and start posing. So here I've selected the upper leg and here you can see on the top left it shows that I've selected the upper leg. So this is the area that you want to look at when you are using touch sensitive devices. Now here to pose this leg I can simply click on the green, blue or red button. So here what I'll do is simply bring this leg up and maybe take it to the side click on the lower leg and make it go down. So here I'm going to zoom in over here just to show you that we can really get in close to pose these figures. I'm going to click on the uh, the ball of the feet over here and let's say make it come up a little bit over here and maybe make this go down just a bit more. And what I'm going to do is simply just Kind of create a very basic pose. Now here for the abs, what I'll do is simply bring this down to the side and we twist it a little bit. And let's go ahead and look at his head over here. Bring this up, turn it this way and kind of like he's looking in our direction. I'm going to click on the arms and bring it up forward a little bit. Make it go down this way look on his a forearm and then if I want to twist the forearm I can simply click on the hand over here like so and I can also go all the way down to the fingers and start posing them if I want to you can see that the app is very fast in allowing you to pose the figure let's go ahead and click on this arm over here bring it down click on the forearm and bring it up a little bit and here I'm actually going to just turn the whole thing around over here. Now what I want to show you over here is that once you get an idea of what pose you're looking for we can actually start to add some items to this figure. So what I'll do is go ahead and click on the inventory section click on the head over here and let's say I'll give him a hat over here. And actually, now that I think about it, I'm going to give him a, a gas mask. I think that looks a lot cooler for what I'm looking at doing. And I'm going to click on the back center and let's give him a, a backpack. Let's try this one over here. This looks good. Maybe I'll try this one over here. Then on the back left, now here I can attach multiple items over here so here let's maybe give him a gun over here and here on the back right maybe we'll give him a, an axe over here okay that's pretty straightforward now here on the the left hand I'm going to give him a weapons now when I click on this weapon you'll notice that he will automatically grab the gun so if I click this you can see that it doesn't matter what item you choose he automatically figures it out. Now of course you can go in here and uh, tweak these. And on his right hand we can actually give him some something different. So let's say we give him maybe this gun over here and there are hundreds of items over here that we can attach. You can even give him a bow if you wanted to over here. So what I'll do is I'll give him a
I can give him a, a bag or something okay so here I'll go ahead and now close this so as you can see that I was able to lay out this figure very quickly using this app now we can actually envision this figure in multiple ways so over here I can click on a muscles so I can see the muscle maps on this figure or I can choose to look at in sketch mode I can actually turn off the ground so I can see the whole sketch so you can see that basically it's solving all the drawing issues for you all the perspective issues that you will encounter you can create very complex poses with this app here we can also take a look at the mannequin in comic this is basically the blue line represents a mannequin system so you can lay out your figures you can also do a comic 3D where the comic lines are represented on a 3D model. You can also just go indirectly for a comic where it just shows you all the lines that you might be interested in using if you wanted to create a comic book uh, figure. Here we can also take a look at the life drawing mode. We can take a look at black and white life drawing. We can also turn on these guides. This is basically an organic way of looking at your figure an organic mannequin system is what I'm trying to say here the other thing we can do here is do comic and skeleton so it basically superimposes the comic lines on top of a 3d skeleton we can also just do a 3d skeleton or we can just do a skeleton or draw right so you can do let's say maybe a fantasy scene where you just have the skeletons we can also click on black body this is basically a silhouette so you can figure out if your pose is really telling the story that you want. We can also click on perspective circles and these are very useful for figuring out for shortening issues or when you're um, creating clothing you can see that maybe if it's in a very uh, extreme position we can actually see how we can wrap around the sleeves of let's say a shirt by just following these lines. This is the idea behind perspective circles. Now here we can also do cube guides. These are basically 3D cube guides on your figure and you can also enable gesture mode. Notice that in gesture mode we can we get a cage around the human head. So here in the inventory I can just simply click this and it will turn off all my inventory items. You can see what I'm talking about. This helps you to lay out your human head. And we can turn all, everything back on over here. So I'm going to turn this off. So you can see that how the system works. We can also change the uh, the color of the body. We can uh, reset the skin tone. And as I said, you can switch between male or a female on this uh, figure. And we can switch between different body types. So here I have normal. We can go to fat, old, skinny, or muscular, or just get a very simple mannequin system. I'm going to switch back to normal over here. Okay, so this is how this whole system works over here. Now I'm going to go ahead and close this and go to the main menu. I just want to show you over here. We can also click on the filter pencil. So here you can see that we get a complete uh, pencil drawing for our figure. We can go to oil paint, uh, filter oil paint over here. So if I zoom in, you can see what this is looking like. So here if I go and turn off life drawing, you can see that basically giving an idea of how to start your oil painting. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Go back over here. We can also get half tone. So if I go back over here, I can turn off live drawing. You can see that we get almost like a newsprint idea for our drawing. Let's go ahead and turn this off over here. And the other thing here, we can also get watercolor paper. Right. So if I go over here and turn off live drawing, you can see that it's basically creating an idea for how to uh, create your illustration and as I said we can add multiple figures uh, to this I'm going to go ahead and turn this off over here now here you can take a screenshot over here you can load up a background image if you wanted to we can turn on these grid guides we can turn off any axis that we want this is all to help you figure out perspective and if you want more extreme perspective we can click on FOV and make it go a little more extreme now if I zoom in onto this figure you can see that we get a much more uh, 
extreme perspective view on the camera over here. We also have camera Lucida. So if you uh, use this, when you're using this on your mobile device, you can actually turn on your webcam and have a background image. Uh, we can also lock the camera view and we can also change the uh, background color if we wanted to. Let's say here, I can turn this all to black. Now the reason I did this is because I just want to show you we can also have access to multiple light sources. So let's say that maybe we want to turn this one on and here I'm going to let's say maybe create a kind of like a red light coming from the other side over here. And then on my third light source I'll probably make this a little blue over here and turn it. Right, and of course I can just go back to let's say watercolor paper over here if I wanted to, or oil painting. So I'm going to go ahead and now just turn this back out and just reset all my lights. And let's go ahead and turn this off over here. And turn this on over here okay so I'm going to go ahead and now uh, save this so you can see how easy it is to use post tool uh, 3d thank you for watching